Do you like toys? I love toys. But I'm not talking about toys that I played with as a kid. I'm talking about toys to play with as an adult. Like this. This is a laser engraving and cutting tool. But what am I going to use it for? Do you need one? Do you want one? Is it expensive? Is it complicated? We're going to get to these and lots more questions. But I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about this. In fact, I never even heard of these things until about a month ago. But I'm sure there's a lot of interesting ways that I'm going to use this while making cool things out of junk. Welcome to Alley Picked. This is the X-Tool D1 Pro. Whatever. But if you're like I was a month ago, you don't have a clue what this thing is and what it's used for. So I'm gonna give you a 30 second montage of some incredible things that you can use this machine for. a big fan of unboxing videos and this is not an unboxing video however there's a lot of parts you've never seen before so it's probably a good idea to do a brief unboxing i think in this case i'll allow 20 seconds While this is going to be a lot of fun, it is not a toy. You are a toy! At the heart of this is this 20 watt laser. It is dangerous. In fact, they give you these safety goggles to wear while you're operating the machine. There are a lot of parts here and honestly, it's a little bit intimidating. But it's not going to build itself by staring at it, so let's get started. The assembly instructions are good, but there were a few things that were unclear. I did find a very good YouTube video when assembling this thing that was extremely helpful. I'll have a link to it in my video description. If you follow the cabling instructions, you could run into some binding problems when the carriage is moving. I had to do a little reconfiguring as suggested in the video I just referenced. This hose connects to this pump called an air assist. It's pretty important. It blows air on the surface as the laser cuts. It gives cleaner cuts without burning. When fully assembled, the size of this is a two foot by two foot square. After about an hour, assembly was complete. The next step was to connect the machine to my computer using the provided USB cable. Install the Xtool Creative Space software, update the firmware, and then figure out how to use the software. Instructions for this free operating software, uh, they seem to be pretty scarce if not non-existent. I had to watch more YouTube videos to help figure out how to use the program. It's not real difficult to get started, but if you're like me and you have no experience with a tool like this, it does get confusing rather quickly. This tool comes with a bunch of sample materials which you can engrave or cut on, including wood, glass, cork, paper, metal, rubber. Now I can drone on and on about how this machine works, how to set it up, how to use the software, but that's gonna get boring rather quickly. You're boring everybody. And there's much better videos out there that you can watch to get all the details about using the X-Tool machine. I think I'm gonna use the rest of my time in this video to show you some cool things that I made, how I see myself using it in the future, and then I'll give you some final thoughts after using this machine for one week. <laughs> Holy cow! Sandberg made a diving touch! I'm gonna try making a Chicago Cubs painted logo on a three quarter inch thick piece of basswood. But before I do it on the X-Tool, let me show you how I had to do this before I had the X-Tool. First, I had to cut a circle of wood, then transfer the image using graphite paper. With my router, I then used a profile bit to outline the letters. Next, I used a flat bottom bit to clean up all the in-between bits. Then some sanding to clean it up in preparation for painting. 
Now this is time consuming, tedious, and requires a careful hand at carving. Now back to the laser. The laser does the work I was doing with the router, only with much more precision. In hindsight, on this Cubs logo, I should have turned up the power just a little bit in order to get a deeper cut. This is going to work fine, but I think that the painting would have been a little bit easier if the grooves were deeper. I could have also had the laser cut out the circle for me, but this time I just did it on my bandsaw. This is going to be a tough play. So here's a cool sign that I made from a thin piece of pine I picked up at the hobby store for about five bucks. The hobby stores sell all kinds of cool wood products that you can engrave on. Other different shapes of signs, crates, boxes. I probably spent about 15 minutes of my time working on this. I'm not saying that it took me 15 minutes to make because I did have to wait almost an hour for the X-Tool laser to engrave this. Now keep in mind that it is burning the wood, so you can't just walk away from this. You don't want to leave the machine unattended. Safety first. It's National Fire Safety Week. I've been going door to door looking for fire hazards. I thought this was interesting. You see those horizontal lines in the engraving? It's raised up because the wood grain is denser and so the laser is gonna cut deeper in the areas between the grain lines. I played around with this machine cutting a few other materials like cork, 3mm plywood, thick leather. Man, it cuts through these things with speed, accuracy, extreme precision, and the fine detail was amazing. I do have a couple complaints. Well, more along the lines of things you should know. Number one, smoke. When you're cutting wood, this thing gives off a considerable amount of smoke. Even with an open window and a fan blowing out, my jackets in the room, they smelled like I sat around a campfire. You're going to need to have an exhaust system if you plan to use this in your house. Do not go in there. Woo! Maybe not so much with other materials, but just be prepared. Number two, I wish there was a comprehensive user manual for the Creative Space software. There's not even a search feature within the program. Now I called the Xtool support number to ask about this. I immediately went to voicemail, but I did get a call back within a couple of hours. They pointed me to a few online articles, but nothing comprehensive. Everyone who uses this machine, at least in most of the videos I watched, recommend purchasing a third-party software program called Lightburn. I'm sure I'm going to eventually use this, but I haven't tried it yet. Lastly. Watch a lot of videos. There's so much you can learn by watching other people use their X-Tool machine. A laser engraving and cutting machine like the X-Tool is what I would call a game changer. It really is gonna change the way that I do some of my work and it provides unlimited creativity. But it ain't cheap. The laser, the air assist, and that rotating tool that I really didn't get into much in this video, that's gonna set you back about 1,600 bucks. However, the quality of the machine is top notch. It should last you a long time and you can easily support a business using this machine. I will have links in the video description for all the X-Tool products I used in this video. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.